Hi, and welcome back to That Can Fix. Uh, it's been a while since my last video, and I'm sorry about it. Uh, happy Father's Day uh, for everybody. And uh, and uh, in today's video, I would like to talk about and show my solution uh, that I made for uh, my town and country. Uh, how to keep all the tools and all the equipment uh, that I'm using on daily basis uh, in my uh, in my car, but still to compromise uh, as minimum as possible of, of the sitting space and uh, to make it to keep it as safety as possible. Even when my kids joining me uh, and my wife, of course, obviously. So I'll I'll show you a video how all this stuff that I use on daily basic, uh, how everything is fit inside, we will move to the car later on. But in general, the idea is, if town and country, by the way, same with Dodge car, Grand Caravan, the same, same idea completely. But the, the idea is, if this is a car, so what I, I'm using, okay, sorry, let's make it this way. This is top view, you have three seats here, you have in my case, two seats here and two seats here. So it's total is seven seaters, like it was one, two, and three. So what I'm generally doing, I only compromising one seat and this place, all this place, become my storage area, become my storage area. So I still have two seats here. I still have this one, this one, this one, and this one. So only one seat is going down. So if this is the backs, now, sorry, sorry if my drawing are not <laughs> professional enough, but if I, if we are looking from, uh, from the trunk uh, of the car, this is the wheels, and this is the back side of the car, <laughs> in case you don't recognize. So there will be, two seats here that they are together it's split it 60 40 and what i did here i did i made a long a long box that's going all the way to the front to the seat uh, the passenger seat and what i did here i made two sort of shelves this is one shelf and on top of it i made another shelf So in this case, I use all this space for storage. And we will continue to the video next to the car.
the amount of stuff that going inside is pretty much <laughs> impressive. So what was important in my case, I wanted this to be stable, to be there stationary all the time. And uh, the size of this like sort of box that I made uh, is the size of exactly four of our travel chairs, uh, camper chairs. They are pretty big. So I wanted them to fit exactly in inside. And uh, in that case, once I'm taking the tools out, and like today we went to the lake with all family, I use this as a storage for the chairs and I still have uh, above it, above the chairs, I still have room, enough room to use it for whatever I want. This shelf, this shelf is, can be disassembled as, uh, as well as this one. They can both disassemble easily. And then I take down the rest of the, the 60% of the chairs. And it gives me an option of the whole room in the car is uh, remain empty. And I can do it like literally in, 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 in a minute. And uh, so this was my idea not to make it like stable and uh, to make it like impossible to disassemble. So I will show you later on how I assemble it. And if, of course, in the future, uh, I, I will try to find some footage, how I disassemble everything and put the camping stuff inside uh, instead of the tools. And, uh, but you, I guess you will understand the idea. And uh, this is my solution. Again, it, it, it's evaluation of like, this is my prototype number three already. I'll show you a picture of uh, type one. Then I was thinking to make some big uh, sort of box with a slide, uh, a slide out. And uh, once I made it some sort of mock-up, I understood that it's too much and I don't want it. So this is my third solution. And so far, I guess I'm going to stick with it. Everything made mostly from the scrap wood, from the ones that like reused wood. And I barely bought something to make it. And uh, unless only hinges, but even the even them, not all of them uh, are brand new. And it works for me. I'll show you. You will see by yourself how much stuff I stick inside, and I still have one to. Okay, let's make it. Let's let's be realistic. one. This seat it's for one, not for two, but it's it, it's there. And you have, I have these two seats, and if in you have, uh, if you have like three seats here in Grand Caravan, so all three is yours. And of course, obviously, the front uh, two seats, the passenger seat, and the driver are <laughs> disassembled. It, it's hard to disassemble them since they are exist. So anyway, happy Father's Day one more time. Uh, I'll do my best to make uh, videos more often uh, because it was. Sorry, it was pretty crazy <laughs> months, uh, so I wasn't able to do so. Anyway, guys, any questions, you need dimensions, you need something more specific. Uh, I would love to share, I have no problem with that. And uh, again, if this is from Grand Caravan or for town and country, from, in my case, it's town and country 2015. But I think it's same for like many years, for about 10 years at least. And uh, even if you have some other uh, uh, van, or minivan, sorry, uh, I guess the dimensions will be slightly different and maybe the solution will be different, but it will at least give you an idea what you can do in your case. I'm less familiar with other uh, minivans, I don't have them, but I hope it will be helpful for you and uh, see you in the next video. Hope you're gonna like it and, uh, and it's useful to you most importantly. And uh, subscribe and see you in the next video guys. Bye.